So, hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the so DB restore, taking the production backup, restoring it on the one of your non-production system here, right? For this one, so what I am going to do here, first of all, I am going to take the so production full DB backup. I am going to take it out here full so DB backup here. So the next one, so perform the perform the three steps perform the three steps on so target side target side means non production system here either development or quality non prod system here so once you perform it then stop the sap system stop the so sap target sap system not the production make sure target sap system why because where we are going to restore it that is called the so non prod system non prod system here once you done it then open the uh, SQL Studio, SQL Studio. Then once this open the SQL Studio, so there, so select the, select the the target DB, select the target DB. Then there is a option to restore it, restore it. And then we have the option to choose the options, then perform the restore here. So these are the high level points we need to do that one. These are the high level points we need to do that one. So backups, if I go with the screenshots here, so here backup I have taken, backup I have taken, I have created the backup in the share. So ECP dot backup here. So here ECP is our backup here. ECP is our production production system here. Here I have taken the backup, the location I have chosen as in the E drive, E drive I have shared the location here. Then once I have done the backup here, then I went to the my SAP system here in the SAP system. I have in the SAP system what I have done it here in the SAP system. So in the SAP system, what I have done it here. So here, so I have stopped the ECD system. I have stopped the ECD system here. So let's go and going to the here, then stopping the our ECD system here. ECD is my development system here. So development is on old version. There is no data here, right? So ECP is our production system. It is running on here. So what I am doing, I stopped the system before stopping. In another video, I have done the so all the preparation steps, pre steps, everything I have executed. So I will share the that link in the in the description. Okay, video description. I will share the my preparation steps activities link here. Then stop the SAP system now. Open the SQL Studio. I have opened the SQL Studio here, right? So then select the target system here right click go to the tasks then so perform the restore restore the database here perform the db restore on here right so here what you have to choose it here here in the file option in the file option are options Okay, so in the option, select the your source database is ECP and your target database is so ECD. You can choose it here. Then just go to the options here, just to override the just to override the existing database with replace. Okay, just to override this one here. Just to override this one here. Right? So just select this option, just to go to the in the general tab here, just to validate the source and the target database. When you have the taken the database and today in the morning our full database backup we have taken here full database backup we have taken here so this is the backup start date and so because the backup finish date here this is the size of the so database here then just click on the finish button here then you see the backup is getting restored see here the restore is happening in the system here so so you can see the it is getting restoring. So it may take multiple several hours, not the several hours, few hours it will take to complete the restore. Once the restore is done, then we need to do the so recover. You need to perform the the post refresh steps here. Post refresh steps we have to execute it here. Okay. So let's see some progress will happen.
we are carefully we need to choose the the source destination the target destinations and in the options you need to choose the replace option so that the existing ecd data will be deleted then so that will be so existing ecd data will be deleted so so uh, then the ecp data production data will come into the picture here so here you can see the status here here five percent is completed here the backup here you can see the five percent is completed here so which means so it is restoring it here once the restore is done so in the next video i will show you how to perform the the post refresh activities here so for the post refresh activities are common for all the databases only for hana so we have to do the hana studio for the restore or dba so otherwise os level commands we can use it for the db2 db2 scripts and also uh, SQL, SQL scripts, Oracle, BR tools, commands, we can use it for restoring the so databases here. But three steps and four steps are almost for all the databases are common here, right? So those things, we will I will cover it in the, the next session here, okay? So thanks, thanks everyone.